So guys, so I have just been watching this video from Abel Kaspai or Kaskai, I always forget his last name, in which he reacts to Mike Isabel's method. And while I pretty much agree with everything he said in this video, um, I'm not even going to talk about how it affects taller lifters because um, doesn't really matter right now. But uh, I'm going to just say something that I feel he should say and I don't know why more people aren't saying about this so here it goes a lot of people so my cat is doing some crazy shit here uh, so most people who are covering this topic of volume I think they I don't know if they forgot or they are trying to avoid the subject but the usual, usually, usually people say people just say that uh, you need to track your sets per week, which is okay, but that's not the whole story. So here is how I'm going to try to explain this in English, but I'm going to do my best. Uh, so when people are saying they count sets, uh, there are many ways to count sets, and also. It's not the same if you are doing sets of 5 versus sets of 15. It's not the same if you are doing 2 sets of flies versus 2 sets of heavy bench doubles. It's not the same if you do uh, heavy triples on squat versus 15 reps on squats. It's not the same if you do 3 sets of leg extensions versus 3 sets of front squats. So, different exercises are going to have a different effect on your body and different set uh, rep numbers. So, high reps will have different effect uh, in comparison to lower reps. Because lower reps you're going to lift much more absolute weight. Uh, probably it's going to affect your body in a much different way than it would if you just did high reps. Because high reps are going to be easier on your joints, lower reps are going to pretty much trash you more than high reps. Also, on top of that, you have to consider the like when you're doing high reps, you are also pretty much training like cardio, anything above 15 reps on squats, really. Anything above RPA and above 15 reps on squats, it's like murder. You know, it's fucking super, super, super tough. And uh, you have to consider all of these issues when you are comparing volume. So, because uh, it's like when you have to kind of uh, standardize some things. That's why you have to start with the baseline and then when you add stuff on top of your baseline training, you can't just say, oh, I'm doing now three sets of bench, so that's three sets per week uh, for chest. But, so I'm going to add another three sets on another day, but flies. So that's six sets of chest per week. But is it the same? Is it the same as doing six sets of bench? Or versus three sets of bench and three sets of flies? So it's not the same. It, it, it can't be the same, especially when you are varying the reps. So if you're doing high reps versus lower reps, it, it will have a different effect. Maybe not in the ultimate sense, maybe yes, I know, I understand all about, I read all of the literature, I know evidence-based stuff, I know that it's pretty much the same if, you, uh, if your intensity or proximity to failure is similar, if you're doing higher or lower reps. There is a different effect. You cannot just compare uh, a set of leg curls to a set of heavy Romanian deadlifts. Both of exercises are just, just working your... Uh, 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 are counted as your hamstring work, but it can't be the same. So you can just leave alone this kind of counting sets as volume and that's it. 
Also, we're not going to even cover the uh, recovery issues, the the like, uh, the diet, stress, all of the outside of the gym factors. But I feel that not enough people are talking about exercise selection and actually getting better in exercises. So I know that right now, currently, my two sets of squats are not even close to what have been like five years ago. Not even close. So, you know, it's not like all of this stuff is super theoretical and I don't believe that they can be really researched properly because all of us are different. Uh, all of us have different lives. Uh, all of us are built differently. So, two sets of squats for you may not be the same as two sets of squats for somebody who is really built for squat or somebody who is, isn't built for squat. So, all of this stuff are ultimately, ultimately only theoretical. They do have value in training and you have to have some logical, theoretical basis on, on which you are like building your training. But it is my personal belief that you have to mainly my my cat almost like uh, dropped the guitar, but <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you have to like oh my god, like the cat. You have to really focus on your training. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Sorry about that. You have to when I I feel that there is a certain group of people who are trying to figure out this how this all of this stuff works and then when they figure it out they will like get all of the gains but this is not how it works you just the only thing you can really do is start training something reasonable and just get progressively better and better i'm not saying progressively stronger which you have to do that that's why you're lifting weights i mean that's pretty simple stuff you have to get stronger if you didn't have to get stronger, you could just do two sets of 10 push-ups per day and that's it. But that's not enough and we all know that and I mean that's just logical stuff. That's why you are lifting weights. You are lifting weights you have to, because you have to stress your body enough. And you have to get stronger. Whether it be through more reps or more weight, you have to get stronger. It's not just the sets. You can do you can do like 15 sets and if they, if they are not close enough to failure, they're not going to be effective and that's just reality. And also it's my personal belief the, that the advanced you get, the closer to failure you have to actually go. That's just my personal belief. It's not really proven, it's not like, you know, I'm going to openly say if something is my personal belief, that's my personal belief. I don't really have any evidence for it, you know, like hard data, but through experience, through looking at people, through, you know, I have been actually lifting almost 15 years, so I picked up some stuff here and there, so yeah, I think that you have to pretty much, as advanced you are, you have to start focusing on getting closer to failure, but the failure also is not your goal, so it's always theoretical as everything. But I'm going to repeat once, one more time, why I'm making even this video, is because people are not comparing two, ex two different exercises. It's not the same. You can't just say that uh, chin-ups are the same as uh, barbell curl for biceps, because it's not, it's, it's just is, it, does, it just isn't, you know, and you cannot say that, I don't know, you know, you can just compare the two extremes, that super heavy deadlift doubles are the same as doing uh, sets of leg curls or sets of back extensions, it's not the same, you know, and that's why 
in my personal belief, it's not, and I'm pretty confident that it's true, you know, you cannot just count sets and that's it. What if you just have completely different sets of exercises? You can count sets if your training is always static and the same and you're just adding or subtracting uh, sets. But if your training exercises vary a lot, there is no like any concrete reason to measure your sets compared to your last sets of exercises. So if you have two sets of exercises and one set of exercises, so for, for the sake of this argument, I'm going to say that these exercises are mostly heavy, mostly barbell focused, yada yada. These sets of exercises are mostly machine focused and mostly lighter in uh, in uh, like uh, high rep ranges. So you're probably going to recover by doing much less volume with heavier shit than with lighter shit. That's my opinion. Not my opinion. I'm fucking pretty sure that that's true. So that's why in my opinion yes for the same exercise for same sets of exercises or at least pretty similar uh, sets of exercises yes you can kind of just count sets but if you completely change exercises it's a completely different story especially when you're varying too much your rep ranges and you know Frequency, we're not even getting frequency here. So, you know, I just wanted to say this that not enough people are talking about this because usually evidence based people like to have everything black and white on paper. It's either this or this, and training it's not like that. I'm sorry, it's not black and white, <laughs> and everybody is different. I'm not saying that everybody is completely different, we're not aliens, but yes, everybody is actually different. That's it. So I guess double biceps to show that I'm actually training and peace out.